I read a Twitter um, announcement or a Twitter post earlier this mo this afternoon or this morning, and it said this. It said nowadays people know the price of everything, but don't know the value of anything. And that's a quote by by somebody, some famous person. And I thought, how true that is. How true that is. Is that you know what you value, you focus on and what you focus on grabs your attention and where your attention is is uh, what you protect it's what what disciplines you you know if you value something you protect it with everything you protect it with what you um what influences you what what you protect um what how it's seen you protect you protect how it's viewed you protect um, what you listen to, you protect what you read, you protect who, who gives you input into your life. You discipline yourself to that, um, to that value. And today when, when I look, when I look around, you know, I, you, you just hear some people talking and you think to yourself, seriously, I mean, do you actually believe that? Or is that just what somebody has told you? One of the biggest problems is, is that when we don't know what we value, we don't know what to stand for. And if we don't know what we stand for, we move by anything. Anybody and anything can influence us. The fact of the matter is, is you need to be the influencer. If you're not the influencer, you're not influencing anything. You are being influenced, which means you're not the leader. You are being led. You are a follower. And as long as you're being influenced by trends, by fashion, by social, um, by the social environment, you are influenced and you're not an influencer. And in the midst of all of this, your values become more and more eroded and become less and less important. We need to be in a place where our values stand for something, where we know what we believe in. And that's why as parents, one of the, the greatest uh, favors you can do for your children is to invest values, remind them of their values, work on, work with them on their values, invest values into them so that they have a deep grounded belief system that they know who they are. That's what drives your behavior. That's what inspires your action. That's what makes you who you are is that you have a value system that you stand for and, and something that you, you, you believe in. The the problem today is, is that most people don't know what their values are. They don't know what their belief system is. They, you know, even within departments and within companies and within organizations, people don't know what they value. And if you value something, you put a value to it. When you put a value to it, you protect it. You stand for it. it you, you, will, you will discipline yourself to that value and you hold firmly to that value. You will not negotiate it. As soon as you negotiate, it's eroded. It becomes less. And, the, the, and that's the problem that we have right now is that within the world, if I look at the world and I listen to what's going on in the world, I listen I listen to media, I listen to so-called leaders, and I go, what is it that you actually stand for? What is it that you actually believe? Do you believe in something? It's easy to erode everybody else's uh, values, but what is it that you stand for? Um, you know, we have forces right now arrayed against every value that you stand for. Because if, if, there's a, if there's a neutral, if there's a zero value system within you, then what happens is they can introduce any value they want into your life. And so, you know, one of the values that I've seen has been eroded is the value of being a leader. Less, more and more, there is this, this um, erosion of taking initiative of being a leader, of being an influencer, of, of uh, rising up and being proactive. You know, immediately you are deemed a rebel, an independent, a, you know, everything is like everything except being somebody. You, you, your, your identity has to be eroded. You cannot have a belief system. You cannot believe that and you cannot say anything about that because if you do, you are a rebel. You are an outcast. You don't fit into society. 
Who made and wrote the standard for society? Who wrote what is normal, as I always say? Who wrote the law? Who wrote the measure of that? Now, the simple fact of the matter is, is that, you know, we should be, the one thing that I do as a, as a mentor leader is I look for the values in the, the, the people that I'm walking with and journeying with, the leaders, and I, I, val I help them find their, val their value, not my value, their value. And I encourage them to value their values, to value what it is, their mandate, their mission, their vision. Do you value who you are? Do you value your assignment in this earth? Do you value your value system? What, who are you? What, what was put into you? What has been invested into you? What is that, what is that thing that drives your behavior? And who, what are you allowing? What are you negotiating? What are you compromising to, to, um, to in fact, erode what your values are? <laughs> it's like it's easy to just float around and be what everybody else wants to be. It's harder to stand for something, to be the leader that inspires, that influences and that has an impact in this world. But I'm telling you, you, you to do that, you know, I'm talking about those things all the time, to be a significant person in the earth. You were born to be significant. But the thing is, to be significant, let me tell you, you're going to have to fight the current. You're going to have to go against everything that everybody doesn't know. <laughs> you know, the thing that I, that I say, so what are your values? And people don't know. When I, when I listen to people, they don't know what they value. They just go with whatever's going. And I want to say to you today, you know, you have to be the leader. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you do. You have to be the leader. To be the leader, you are called to be an influencer. You are called to inspire others. You are called to have an impact in this world. Every single one of you. You may be sitting today, sitting on your couch and you're thinking, who, me? I'm nobody. You know, yes, you are somebody. You were designed from your birth to be somebody, to have an impact in this world. You know, it, it, and you know, what we think of is money. And money is not an impact. Money is not an influencer. Money can be a means to it, but it doesn't mean. Mother Teresa had the biggest impact, the greatest inspiration, and the most influence in nations and in, in organizations, and she had no money. <laughs> she gave it all away. What are you doing? You know, I, I've heard of quadriplegics. Um, I heard a story about a quadriplegic who 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 was making huge property investments, and and uh, and he was laying on the hospital bed doing it. You know, when I heard that, I thought, "What is your excuse, Sean? What is your excuse for making an impact and doing something in the world, and being somebody significant?" I don't, you know, I'm designed for that. You designed for that. If we are not influencing, we are being influenced. If you're not leading you, somebody else or something else is. Somebody or something else is leading you. And so I want to encourage you today is that, you know, it's, Stand for something. Get your value system. If you're in a team, find out what the team's values are and begin to let something of the culture of, of that team be driven by values. Not by whatever whim is going on right then, by the conflict. Sometimes our, our cultures and our, the culture of our department and our business and our organization is being driven by the conflict, by politics. By, by who gets on with who, by the gossip in the office. You know, we've got to kill this stuff and establish values and see, get people aligning with our values. If they align with our values, we can be on the same page, we can go together. You know, we've got to be in a situation when, when all hell breaks loose and we have, are in a crisis in the depths of, of I don't know what to do. Something has got to shout louder than everything, every condition, every symptom, every, um, everything else around us. And that is that deep conviction within our hearts. This is what I stand for. This is what I believe. This is my values. And you've got to decide where those values come from. Are they reliable? Are they dependable? Will they put you in the right direction? Are they taking you to the outcome of a destiny that you desire, that you know you were designed for. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not sure where your values are coming from, then you need to reevaluate. You need to reevaluate who influenced what in your life. And that's my word for